Hey, what's going on everyone? One Doctor Genius aka Firebreather Allen back with another Prodigy video. And in today's video, I'm showing you guys tips and tricks on how to get Star Shards. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. So right, let's get straight to it. The first thing which you may notice is if you look down over here, you can see that the starlight thing pops up. So just click on that smack rooney that yes button and you will be taken straight into Starlight Festival. So do you guys see this dancing sign over here? Well, all you gotta do is you gotta click on the dancing sign. Now the dancing t sign tells you what to do. Right guys, so the sign says, once a day, a star falls somewhere into Lamplight Town. You must find and save it from the Puppet Master's Evil Force. Right, so now the daily task basically tells you, tells you that every day, a star falls from the sky into the world of Prodigy, and you have to find the star before the Puppet Master's evil forces do, and then you have to battle the evil forces and take the star for yourself. So in order to obtain these 10 star shards, what you need to do is you need to go exploring in Prodigy and become a monster hunter. Now another way to get star shards is either by spinning the Wheel of Wonder or the Twilight Wheel. Right guys, so unfortunately on this wheel, what happened is we don't have star shards on, but maybe it might be that sometimes later on there may be an option for 25 star shards. So what I would recommend is I would recommend you guys regularly go here and spin the wheels. Because who knows, you can get awesome prizes. I mean all of these boots are awesome and like there's no disadvantage unless you get a tin can or apples. Right, so now on this wheel there's also a chance for star shards to appear. Unfortunately for us no star shards appeared. But hey, let's spin the wheel and see what we get. And it looks like we got some yards, which isn't too shabby, nor is it too good. So now what we need to do is we need to explore around Lamplight Town and find ourselves the monster. Dun 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 Wow! Well, um, that was quite quick, I do say so myself. I mean, that literally popped up in like 5 seconds. Alright, let's cast our spell Falling Star Smash and see how much damage we'll do to Mr. Truckle. Okie dokie, so it looks like we did approximately 4,000 damage to our enemy, which isn't too good, it isn't too bad either, but it's decent, I guess you could call it. Okie dokie, so there we go, we've answered another question crux, and looks like we shall be doing another 3,875 damage. This is very depressing versus the 7,000 damage that I did earlier. So right, now you guys may be wondering, well, what's so special about this festival? Well, here's the thing, in my previous video, I told everything about that, so I would recommend going back and seeing my previous video to t know everything about this, right? Now, once you've watched that video, I'd recommend turning on the notification bell, subscribing. Right, guys, as you can see, we have opened the chest, and here, we have gotten ourselves 10 star shards, right? So, as you guys saw, there, I got myself 10 star shards. So, guys, another way to gain yourself star shards is by doing monster battles. So, here, as you guys can see, we have two monsters. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna battle these monsters and see how many star shards we get. We can get anywhere from 3 to 0 star shards, so let's do this. Right, let's answer our question correct and let's see how much damage we'll do on answering this question correct. Okay, so I've answered my spell correctly and let's see how much damage we'll do. We'll do approximately 3,953 damage, which is almost half of the monster's health. I think it might just be half of the monster's health. Yeah, we did approximately enough damage to terminate half of the monster's health. So let's cast the same spell again and see how much damage we'll do. Right guys, so I've casted my spell once again, and it looks like we should be doing approximately the same amount of damage to the monster, right? So, the monster has been completely eliminated. Now we'll obtain our battle stars, and once we obtain our battle stars, the member chest will pop up. Now when we see the chest, let's see if we'll get any star shards from the chest, right? So this all is loading up over here. Let's click on the chest and see what we get. Well, as you guys saw there, it looks like we've gotten ourselves one star shard. Right, that's nice. So now, let's head into a battle with the second monster in the back. Dun 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 dun! Wizard battle! Okie dokie, are you choky? So I've just answered my question crux. It looks like we should be doing approximately 3,900 damage to both monsters, which is not too nice. I mean, we could have done more damage, but still, it's okay. 
So we can cast the same spell again, so it looks like I'll have to cast two different spells to terminate both monsters. And once we cast these spells, we will be given 21 battle stars, 10 member stars, and once we get this stuff, we will be given access to the chest. Now when the chest comes up, let's just hope that they have good loot in it for us. Okay guys, so I've just answered my question correct. Looks like we've unlocked ourselves and achievements, so let's just slap that OK button, cast the spell Falling Star Smash, and do approximately 4000 damage. Now let's repeat this and do 4000 damage to the next monster as well. Hooray! We've answered our question correct, and looks like we should be doing 3988 damage to our next monster. That's not too shabby, we only had to do 12 more damage to do 4000 damage. And you know what, that's nice. So let's see, here we'll get our 21 battle stars and we'll level up. So let's just smack really that OK button. And now we will receive our 10 member stars. Right, here they come. Bammy, 10 member stars! So as you guys saw in that battle, I did not get any star shards. But do remember that the chance of getting star shards in this battle is random, right? So you may get anywhere from 3 to 1 star shard to 0 star shards in a monster battle, right? So now that you guys know this info, I believe you guys may be able to rack up yourselves at least from anywhere from 50 to 30 star shards in an hour. Right, that's a decent amount. So if let's suppose you get 30 star shards an hour, well if you guys get approximately 30 star shards an hour, well then it will only take you 108 hours in order to complete your 3250 star shards. And if, we ha and if you guys get 3250 star shards, well, then you guys will be able to buy everything in the Starlight Shop and you won't ever need to get Star Shards ever again. So yeah, all you guys have to do is you have to keep on playing Prodigy for 108 hours and once you've done that, you will have yourself 3,250 Star Shards and with those 3,250 Star Shards, you will be able to buy everything in the Starlight Shop. So yeah guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you did enjoy this. And if you did, don't forget to smack ring that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and give this video a big thumbs up. Also, leaving comments would be great. And yeah, I hope this video helps you out on getting more star shirts, and I will be catching you all soon. One Dr. Genius out the house.